All right, here's a CC29 update to the Essential Sound Panel. They have a new denoise and de-reverb slider. So I've gone ahead and recorded a quick bit of audio just here in my garage. This is something that you might find typically if you don't have the best soundproofing. I have some hard walls and hard surfaces, so I do get a little bit of reverb. So let me play through it so you can hear it. Some background noise or some reverb. I'm recording talking in my garage. So you can hear a little bit of reverb there. So now as we do with the essential sound panel, if we select our audio, before you do anything, you'll have to click dialogue to set it as dialogue. And then you have the slider. So open up the repair panel or the repair area. And you see you have reduced noise and reduced reverb. So let me just show you what happens if I do reduce reverb. So let me play. And there are some hard walls and I don't have, let's turn on reduce reverb. Soundproofing up right now. So you might be able to see. So you can automatically hear that it improves it by quite a bit. Like all these sliders, you can increase the amount of editing or processing that happens by dragging the slider to the left or to the right. I felt like it was a little bit too heavy on the reduce reduction. And there are some hard walls and I don't have self. That sounds a little bit better. And basically what's happening is Premiere Pro is looking at the waveforms and it is cutting off the audio after like the peak of the waveform. And that's how it gets rid of that reverb. In my garage and there are- Now let me turn that one off and we can see or listen to hear what the reduced noise slider does. And there are some hard walls and I don't have soundproofing up right now. So you might be able it So it kind of does a similar thing. This is going to help more if you have like rumbling or high pitched whirring or like a fan or air conditioner or if you live somewhere where there's a lot of traffic outdoors and there's that rumble in the background or if you're shooting outdoors that's what this reduced noise slider is going to get rid of now if we add both of them it starts to sound a little bit funky noise or some reverb i'm recording so you do have to be careful about adding too much processing to them but these are two improvements in the essential sound panel Reducing reverb has something, been something that low budget videographers and high budget videographers have had trouble with for a long time. And now it's really cool that we have this slider right here in the program. Cool. Let me know if you have any other questions.